it pushes, increases the distance between those of us who want to reform police uh, and the police community. Kelfani Ture is an expert in race and policing and use of force in policing and says the death of Tyree Nichols comes as crime and homicide rates in Memphis remain high. But how does someone make the claim that we need police when in fact uh, the police have demonstrated themselves uh, through this example as utterly unreliable. As body cam video and sky cop video in Nichols' death is set to be released within hours, Ture is concerned over its reported violence. It sounds like it was more like being in the center ring of a boxing match, handcuffed with Mike Tyson pummeling you. Five officers now charged in Nichols' death were part of MPD's Scorpion Unit, a crime suppression team that, in Teray's opinion, appears to have no accountability. The perception of these officers was, in fact, that he was a criminal uh, first, and they would need a, an avalanche of evidence to disabuse themselves of that idea. Ture says unlike the death of George Floyd in 2020, where a white Minneapolis officer used unreasonable force during Floyd's arrest, Tyree Nichols' accused killers are all African Americans. These officers should not be able or afford it the opportunity to use race as a cover. It is police brutality writ large that must be reformed because it further endangers society. In Memphis, Mike Suriani, WREG News Channel 3.